Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel and the cooking series. I'm going to teach you how to make teriyaki tofu and roasted parmesan brussels sprouts. So of course we want a packet of firm tofu and then we want to grab a packet of brussels sprouts. Yeah, I know we think brussels sprouts are disgusting but these taste good. So what you want to do is you just want to cut the ends off the brussels sprouts and just take the first layer of skin off. So it gets all the dirty stuff off and you know that at least it's clean so we can see how I'm doing this but yeah okay I don't boil Brussels sprouts and I don't steam them I have no idea what people are doing to make Brussels sprouts taste disgusting but let me tell you this when you roast them in the oven with garlic and parmesan and herbs they taste delicious and so once we've deskinned them all and cut the ends off, we just want to cut them in half so they cook nice and evenly and get crispy. Then we want to grab a few cloves of garlic. I like my stuff really garlicky, so I've just got three cloves of garlic. Could have done more, but three is enough. Just want to press them down and then we want to grab the skin off and cut the ends off as well. And then we just want to mince them up. It doesn't have to be small doesn't have to be big chunks just mince them up because they're going to cook in the oven and they're going to shrink like that we just want to put it in a pan line the pan with baking paper or tin foil and then you just want to put it all in also add some olive oil and I'm adding some butter as well And then I've got some dry rosemary you can add any sort of herbs that you want I prefer rosemary and some thyme but like that you can do whatever herbs you feel like having just want to put some rosemary then I put some nutritional yeast garlic and pepper and salt and then I just sprinkled it with the parmesan cheese and then you just want to mix it all around make sure it's nice and evenly incorporated and spread evenly on the pan as well next I'm cutting the tofu in half because this makes a lot of tofu squares I'm gonna say so I leave the other part and I put it in water and put it in the fridge so I can use it again for another thing and I'm just cutting the tofu in cubes like so before you do anything you always want to press the water out of the tofu because that's how it keeps it hydrated is they keep it in water in the packaging so you just want to press all the water out then in whatever pan you have you want to oil it and make sure it's hot as well and then put your tofu in there so it starts to cut start the I can't even talk today I'm sorry so it starts to cook and get crispy on the outsides like so this may take a while depending on the type of tofu that you've got and how firm it is and also how much water has been extracted from the tofu before putting it on the pan and then once it's nice and crispy on one side you want to add a decent amount of soy sauce like I feel like you should know how much soy sauce you can handle but I roughly put it in a tablespoon and then also a tablespoon of honey and this will even out that, like that salty sourness that you can get from the soy sauce and give it that teriyaki flavor. So you just want to keep moving it around otherwise it will bubble and then just stick. So moving it around so it's evenly incorporated and you want it to get it to this consistency right here where it's coated all the tofu. The tofu is cooked. It's a nice dark like I don't know what color this is a like golden syrupy color something like that but yeah you want to make sure all the liquid is mostly gone from the soy sauce and it's just what's bubbling is the sugar content from the honey and that's it for a bit so it continues to cook and in the meantime while this is sitting on the hot pan you also want to check on your Brussels sprouts and you want to move them around so they cook evenly and everything is incorporated because once the oil kind of you know gets in and all the so the butter melts you have more leeway to move around those uh, flavors that you've put in that pan but once you're done you should get a nice delicious meal or snack like this and the brussels sprouts look so good look at how green they are and they're crispy and oh I just, I just don't get how people don't like Brussels sprouts. I really don't. I find them absolutely delicious. I just, I've never had them cooked wrong. And then we got the tofu, which is nicely coated in our soy and honey sauce. 
And then I'm sprinkling it over with some sesame at the end. So I'm putting black sesame seeds on the Brussels sprouts and then the white sesame seeds on the teriyaki tofu. Just to give it that bit of color and texture and taste. Sesame seeds are really good for you as well. But there we go. It's simple, it's easy. There's not much to it. It's delicious. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching.